Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about Yozy multi-purpose electronic e-commerce theme. So basically with the help of this theme, you will be able to create some really good looking amazing uh, e-commerce website, right? So let me show you the live preview of this website, then you will get a rough idea of what I'm talking about exactly. And if you want to go out the through a documentation of this particular theme you can always come to the sales page and you can read about each and every section of our theme uh, this theme right coming back to the sales page as you can see this theme provide you eight different kind of home sections so with the help of uh, different kind of home section you will be getting different layout uh, to showcase your own website which is a great thing right and you can also uh, mobile layout is ready for this website which is a great thing right as a, as i will to uh, as i will as i will showcase you this also that this is mobile optimized super mobile optimized and you can see each and every section has been perfectly designed so coming back to the sales page first of all if you want to make a e-commerce website you need to buy this theme or any kind of e-commerce theme so once you have the theme up and running downloaded and you purchase the theme uh, and it is up and running on your system the second step is to install that particular theme on your WordPress website. So it is super simple. Let me guide you. First of all, you need to come back to your website. This is our website, a fresh installed uh, WordPress website. And I'm using my domain youtube.smhanclub.com. Uh, generally, I use this domain for making tutorials for you people, right? So once you're logged in and you have to go to your dashboard, right? So to going back to a dashboard, you need to type WP admin and you will be redirected to a dashboard. Okay. If you're logging in for the first time and it will ask you for username and password, which you have entered while you were, uh, while you were installing WordPress on your cPanel. So once you're logged in, this is the dashboard. This is the back end. This is the basically the section where you can manage and edit each and each and every section of your WordPress website. So let me give you a quick tour what exactly we have on the left hand side under the setting section you will get setting for general setting reading setting writing setting discussion or you can set up the permalink basically permalink are the structure of the url this helps in seo right so click on post name this is the best format of a, a url that has to be up and running on your website so under the tool section, you will be getting site, uh, health, export and import tools and a lot of uh, tools you will see later on in the video. So under the user section, you will be able to create a user and uh, uh, delete user or uh, you can uh, literally add multiple user and assign them as an admin role or you can have different uh, authors or editors. You can man manage the people out here. Okay. So with the help of plugin, you will be able to add some extra kind of functionality on your website and under the appearance hood, you will be finding theme. So basically theme is the structure of a website, how you want your website to be looking right. So today we are going to the, uh, deal with the theme section, click on theme. And as you can see, I have already added the theme. I have uploaded the theme so, uh, so that I can save the time and I will tell you how you can add the theme, click on add new. So basically, as you can see here. We have a lot of free theme which has been provided by WordPress by default. As you can see, if I click on popular, there must be it has around 4000 free theme available. So basically, there are a lot of difference between free theme and paid theme. Generally, free theme does not consist of that much customization option and their responsiveness over premium theme are very much low. And uh, the conversion rate, right? When it comes to AdSense or if you're making a news website or a blogging website, there has to be ads and so that you can monetize your website. So the conversion rate, which is called the CPC click through rate or CPR, anything, right? The conversion rates are pretty low on free theme. My personal experience is that. Okay. So I generally suggest you or uh, says you that if you have a little bit of budget to invest in the very initial stage of your business or brand or, uh, or your, your store, right? You can literally buy you. You must buy a premium theme that would be really great for your business, right? So first of all, you need to upload the theme. You need to select choose and it will select the directory where it is uh, located. Then you can select it. So you need to click on choose file uh, here. Select the file. If I'm not wrong, this is the file and click on install now. Okay. So basically this installation process take a, a time. Um, that's why I have already uploaded the theme. Okay. So let's activate this theme. The process is pretty simple. Okay. Now you must be 
you must be seeing that you are getting some kind of notification right so basically our theme is suggesting us to install some kind of recommended plugin so what are recommended plugin okay so a theme consists of multiple functionalities each and every functionality consists of some kind of certain plugin uh, i mean to say some uh, it is correlated to some kind of certain plugin right so if there is a slider in your theme there has to be a slider plugin backend working on your theme file right and if you have a gallery section there must be a gallery widget or a plugin related to that particular section so it's always recommended that whenever your theme suggests you to install some kind of certain plugins never ignore those messages okay so we need to install all the plugin which has been suggested by our theme click on being activate because i have already installed it you must be seeing being installed plugins so process is a pretty simple you need to click on bulk action and install now and once the installation is completed then you will see this kind of thing being activation so never activate plugin from this section always invest your time and activate from this section because this uh, this take less time compared to that section because that section crash a lot of time that's my personal experience right so as you can see all the plugin has been activated successfully now it's time to uh, import uh, the whole website let me show you what our web how our website looks right now i'm sure that it is nothing at all okay so let me tell you how you can import the section uh, under the tool section you will see a push demo uh, import and here uh, you will see click here to import the demo data you just need to click on this and if you want you can choose, uh, choose any other uh, home page right uh, so i will just go with the home page one click on this and click on ok and import uh, process has been started ok you just need to wait for couple of minutes as you can see demo content has been imported successfully on our website let's see how our website looks right now i'm pretty excited about it if you go and visit our website and let's wait for it till it load and i'm excited about it as you can see everything has been loaded successfully and each and every section of this particular website has been imported perfectly all the gadgets has been aligned perfectly and the a section of electronics or any kind of widget section is perfectly aligned and you get a very professional looking footer with the help of email capturing feature right you can capture your email here with the help of mailchimp or any kind of email marketing software right and the best thing about this theme is that if you click on here and go to inspect then you can see that the whole theme is mobile optimized as well this is the best part about this theme and you get a small icons like home search cart this is the best feature of this particular uh, theme right so with the help of these thing this looks exactly like a application right like this is uh, you this is the interface that you get in mobile application and we are getting in the mobile view of a website which is uh, really amazing and if you coming back to the desktop version and here if you go to the other categories or if you want to open any kind of product let's see how over the product page looks because the project uh, product page is one of the important page of a e-commerce website with the help of this page you will be getting sales right and as you can see this is a very uh, beautiful looking description uh, these kind of description are meant to be seen in any kind of big website right amazon or flipkart something like that and everything is uh, really aligned perfectly and you get suggestions also for the related product and if you go to the shop page and visit this shop section where you can see everything is aligned perfectly and well categorized so according to me if you really are going into this e-commerce business and you want to buy a e-commerce theme you can always try this theme this looks pretty nice to me right so i hope you really like this video i want to wrap this video up here right now so i hope you really like it and if you really like it just give it a big thumbs up and i'll catch you in the next one